Hey everybody. So what I'm going to do uh, tonight is uh, we're going to test this um, mount. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, um, I had some naysayers say that a mount that I designed would not work on the large MSL uh, two airplane I designed and built. And you know I get really sensitive to that because I have so many people that are following me that want to learn. And when people make statements that something won't work with nothing to back it up. Um, then I, you know, I try to protect that because I don't do a lot of things by guessing. I don't just do things on a whim when it comes to design. So um, in this test, we're actually going to drop a piece of aluminum into the propeller spinning. If you haven't seen the first three videos of me testing these mounts, uh, go back and watch them. But uh, this video here is basically I'm just testing the welds on 4130 chromoly on a motor mount. You'll see it in a minute and um we'll see what happens i do need to warn you though i don't know how my um uh how my cameras are going to work in the room that i'm recording this in because all i have is led lighting in there right now all of my uh quartz um lighting is in storage right now so there may be a strobing effect so when the video starts of it's strobing i just want you to be warned or if it does strobe i'll put something in the video warning you about if you have epileptic seizures and stuff about the strobing of the light because leds with high speed cameras sometimes will strobe so let's see what happens everybody and uh fingers crossed that we finally break this mount this time go back and watch the first three videos if you're confused take it easy And if you look at the mount here, I had a very small hole drilled in here to let the gases, because when you weld a tube that's airtight at each end, it can blow the weld out from the hot gases expanding in it. So I had a very small relief hole there to let the air out. And maybe I should have welded that hole closed, but this is where it broke right there. Let me see if I can bend that. Yep. See, that's where, that's where it broke. So my welds are stronger than hell. The 4130 is stronger than hell. Um, this is just insane how strong this was. Rock on. Hey, everybody. Well, it blew up. Um, it, it didn't break quite like I thought it would because, um, as you saw from the little video I made, it broke at one of the stress holes. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, relief holes I had put in the mount. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have put that hole in the back of the plate or the front of the plate to let the gases out when I was welding. So that was me kind of being stupid. Um, the video did strobe real bad on camera number one, camera two it didn't. And uh, it looks like we broke it. Um, but you know, once again, all the naysayers, they can kiss my ass, okay? I've, I've dealt with people for 20 years that have always said my stuff's not gonna work or I did it wrong. And one of my fans pointed out I've got about a 97% success rate. So um, I just hope people who are watching my videos will uh, or looking at the pictures that I'm posting on Facebook or on my Patreon, they'll understand that 
I'm not guessing. A lot of this, I've, I'm, I'm pulling it from other experiences I've done. Um, I am shocked that the 4130 in my welds are as strong as they are because I'm building a full scale ultralight right now. So I have nothing to worry about with my welds and my airframe. Um, but thanks for watching my videos, everybody. Um, a quick word, the motor was not damaged, even though the back bearing uh, support came off the motor. The motor is absolutely fine. And um, that is my test motor. That was my 66th test that I've used it for different props and different things. So that's not a motor that I fly. Um, so that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching these videos, everybody. And everybody have an awesome evening. It's really late and uh, rock on.